Hey, my name is Harper and my mornings are a bit different. Every day, first thing, I have to take care of the chickens. My favorite chicken is Nugget. She's one of the few beings in the world that actually puts up with me. Probably because she has to. Hello, my name is Danielle. And although I always get up just 10 minutes before my virtual classes start, I still always do my best to look as put together as the college students I will be attending class with. Hi, my name is Liz. I love learning about ancient Egyptian civilization and mythology more than anything else in the world. I read as much as I can every night before I fall asleep and always wake up early so I can read more before moving on to other, much more boring things. These are our routines every morning. They're fairly normal. Even if what we do during the rest of the day is a bit different from what you might be used to seeing. And no, we're not recluses or fairy tale creatures. We are homeschoolers. Yeah? You need to get up. I am up. Come on, you know what I mean. Just ten more minutes. What did I do wrong? Ugh. I tried so hard. Oh, 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 oh. Office hours. Office hours, office hours. English office hours. I can go to office hours and fix this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this. Yeah? Danielle? I'm going to the craft store to pick up some things. Do you want to come with me? You said you need some paint and stuff to finish up your lab coat for your costume. We can also stop by the drugstore to pick up some hairspray. Okay, that sounds good. I'll be out in a minute. We'll have to worry about this later. What am I supposed to do today? How am I supposed to do that? There's way too many elements to get mixed up. I'd rather just listen to Hamilton all day. Wait. Harper? You're a genius. How does a long as periodic table of elements somehow become a memory of relevance. How do we emerge victorious from the chem quiz, leave the classroom like a total chemistry whiz? Yeah, turns out I have a secret weapon, a parody. I know one love which will say my great and then some. The tests are confusing, confounding, so be grateful. Everyone give it up for my parody, the periodic table. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, more sex for carbon, nitrogen, and the green oxygen, it's fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, remains, yeah, aluminum. Oh my god, Addie, it's been so long, how are you? It has been, um, I'm good. Still getting used to public school. Have you been fitting in? You, you made any friends yet? Oh god, <laughs> you sound like my mom, but... I'm fine, honestly. Um, are you guys still taking classes at HDS? Uh, Harper's uh, taking a theater class, but uh, I've been too busy with community college and Liz is not really interested anymore. She's getting bored. <laughs> that makes sense. Sometimes I really miss taking classes with you all. 
Do you remember that one time when we could not stop laughing about? Daddy, hey, I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, who's this? This is Danielle, my friend from my old school. Uh, hi, hi. Um, yeah, um, so Danielle, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm shopping for my Halloween costume. That's so cool, we are too. What are you going as? I'm gonna be a mad scientist. I got like a lab coat and a bunch of like paints and I'm gonna like stain it and add fake blood. Oh my god, that's awesome. Do you love DIY? Uh, um, I, not really. Uh, what are, what are you guys going as? Oh, we saw some really cute Heather outfits on TikTok, so Addy and I are going thrifting to get the right skirts and things. I'm going as Veronica, she's going as Heather Duke. Cool. Uh, I got to go see that with uh, Harper. They're really into uh, musical theater. Uh, it was really, really well done. What are your plans for Halloween? Uh, not much. Just gonna hang out with some friends. Nothing too exciting. I'm having a big Halloween party at my house. You can totally come. That'd be so much fun, right, Addy? <laughs> I'm not sure if it's really your guys' scene. You should all come. It'll be fun. Okay. It would be good to see you again. Yeah. Uh, this stuff's strong. Where'd you get it? I stole it from my dad's cabinet. Is it helping you forget about Bryce? Getting there. Bryce is a dick anyway. You can do so much better than him. With who? He's like the hottest guy in school. My parents even liked it. I thought we were in love. Love is overrated. I'll cheers to that. Only if a wizard casts fireball too close to him. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, um, well, uh, when I was younger, um, my uncle played that game. The undead gateskeeper is battered and bruised, but he won't let you through yet. His limbs drag across the floor as he ambles further towards your group. His hoarse voice seems it rings out through the cavernous room. I will end you! Danielle, it's your turn. What are you doing? Danielle, what about Fireball? I was going to cast Fireball, but then you ran in there, and it's an area effect, so now it's gonna hit you too! What am I meant to do? I'm a monk! I fight with my fists! Just cast it anyway. You're at two hit points, it's gonna kill you! I have evasion, it, it'll be fine. If you fail, well then I have to come in there and heal you! Then I won't fail then! Right? Fine, I cast Fireball. Well, it's 1.30. We gotta end for today. What? We'll see what happens next week. Ada, you are evil. <laughs> I'd say a more chaotic neutral. Uh, okay. So, uh, when we were out shopping for Halloween costumes, we ran into one of Addie's friends from her old school. Oh, cool. I wish I could have been there. They're, uh, they're coming to my Halloween party. You can meet them then. Uh, Grace, why weren't you there? Because Bryce was breaking up with me! So, how was school, Anna? Fine. I'm gonna order pizza for dinner. Okay.
how did it? It was so much fun. They finally got to the part with the riddles, and one of them had him so stumped that Danielle couldn't figure it out. Now they're fighting the zombie warden. I ended in the middle of the battle. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. I know, she's probably running late on purpose to make us wait longer. <laughs> um, Ada just texted saying that uh, something came up and she can't call, she can't come today. What happened? I don't know, she didn't say. Weird. Oh no, now I have to wait a whole nother week. Here's the next set. Okay. Closed. Uh, anxiety? Uh, no, that one says embarrassed, actually. Every time I feel like I learn a new word, I forget one I already knew. Danielle, you've gotten every other one, right? Yeah, I feel like I should get an honorary A in your class just from being around your intense studying. You're such a nerd. Yes, I am. I guess I can stop for now. Uh, how's your guys' school going? Math is so boring, and I'm struggling with chemistry. Oh, I could help you with that. We should study together. For my last chem quiz, I did a Hamilton rap parody of the periodic table, and I got 108 out of 118 elements. Cool. I don't think that would work for me, though. Oh? I want to hear this. A Hamilton periodic table rap? Sounds interesting. Why are you girls not in school? We're homeschooled. And we're not all girls. Homeschooled? So you don't go to school at all? How do you socialize? What do you think we're doing? W well, uh, we come to this park uh, twice a week and we hang out and talk and work on school assignments together. Just you three? Well, how do you meet boys? Well, that's none of our first priority and maybe we want girlfriends. Well, I mean, girlfriends are nice, but don't you want to date? <laughs> Exactly. Girls are nice, and I would love to date them. <laughs> Not that that means they want to date me. Um, and I'm graduating early this year from high school, so I'll probably just wait until I'm in college next year to date. Well, what kind of schoolwork do you do exactly? Well, um, we each do it a little bit differently. I'm part of a charter school, so I um, I take various classes through different schools and vendors of the charter. And I'm also part of a charter school, but I mostly use textbooks and like online syllabuses I go through with my parents. And I'm unschooled, so I learn in unconventional ways. Like I learned arithmetic by keeping track of my allowance, and I take online courses for my interests. And uh, like last year, my final was to write a play about endangered species and climate change, and yeah. And as for college, Danielle's already taking online college classes. Already? Well, that's impressive. But I mean, how will you learn about the real world if you're stuck in your room all day on your computer? I don't know. This is the first time I've seen the sun in weeks. <gasps> you poor thing. You mean your parents don't let you out of the house? Well, some parents give their kids screen time. Mine give me sun time. I'm only allowed to worship the sun god Ra's sun rays one hour a week. Uh, Harper, Liz, stop it. They're joking. We're not trapped in our houses. Yeah, I, I was joking. Um, 
Of course my parents don't keep me trapped in my house. I think I would literally implode. Like, I have to go to improv class, like, every Monday, and then I usually go outside, work in work in school assignments, and uh, I swing outside, maybe do some crafts, and on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I have play rehearsals to do, so I go to that from five to eight. We're doing Peter Pan, by the way. I'm the crocodile, it's really cool. And sometimes if I have extra time, then I'll go into the costume room and help design costumes, and, oh. I think he scared her, her away. <laughs> Okay, Miss, I wish it the sun got raw. <laughs> I had to. Well, I mean, come on guys. It's been like four months since someone asked us that. It was about time. Well, that doesn't make it any less annoying. How do you socialize? Exactly. Like, Danielle, Liz, my best friends of six years, who I'm currently talking to, how do we socialize? I imagine if we were to do such a thing, we would perhaps hang out at a park and converse with one another. Perhaps we would even share in a laugh. Mm. I have heard it sounds something like ha, ha, ha. Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey dad, where are you now? Oh, I'm in the Denver airport, waiting for my connection to Toronto. Nice. You got me a souvenir, right? Kid, if I got you a souvenir every time I flew through Denver, our fridge would be covered in Colorado magnets. Yeah, but that Rocky Mountain one you got last time was so cool. Uh, when are you going to be home next? I'll be home the second week of November. I'm missing Halloween this year, but we'll carve a pumpkin in my honor. Of course, and it's fine. Uh, did you run into Ada the other day? And she invited us to a Halloween party at our friend's house. That sounds fun. What are Ada's new friends like? Uh, I haven't met them, but they're public schoolers, so I don't know, probably pretty shady. I was a public schooler. You're proving my point. You've told me all your crazy high school stories. <laughs> um, I'm a bit nervous about seeing Ada again, you know? Sorry, Harper. Have to go. Save the thought, though, and make sure Mom knows about the party. Yeah, uh, of course. Love you, Dad. Love you, too, kiddo. Hey, sweetie, do you need any help? I'm fine. It's complicated. You're hemming it on the wrong side. It's fine. Leave me alone. Well, okay. Don't forget there's an English assignment you have to do before you leave. I know. I'm not stupid. I remember. 
So, how are you feeling about the party? Seeing Ed again and all? I'm fine. Maybe Harper and Danielle will realize it's not their fault finally. You know, it's not your fault either. Of course I know. It's Ada's fault. She's the one who stopped talking to us. She was going through a lot at the time. I'm here if you ever want to talk. I won't. Ugh, that's why I don't want to go back in the closet. Mm. I hope my hair sits straight. <laughs> I mean, I know why. <laughs> wow, two gay jokes in like five seconds. New record. See, I'm extremely funny and cool and will definitely get along with everyone at this party and not ruin things. No, I was feeling weird about it. I mean, I am the least subtle person on the planet, but if Liz knows, then that means Danielle probably knows. Which means Addie probably told them something. Which means Addie probably hates me now. So Liz and Danielle know that I was the one who ruined everything and pushed everyone apart and made everyone uncomfortable because I'm such a mess all the time. <sighs> God. Just chill out. It's just a party. We'll be fine. Hey sis, how are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. What have you been up to? I'm making my Halloween costume. Oh, are you going to be Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds again? Literally just a white guy in a suit, which is what you always wear? <laughs> no, I'm going to be a mad scientist, not a hot scientist. <laughs> Liz, Harper, and I are going to a party at uh, one of Ada's new friend's house. Oh, so Ada's public school friends? Yeah, why? That should be interesting for you. What does that mean? Well, it's just not really anything you've really done before. Just make sure you stick together with Liz and Harper and don't leave your drink unwatched. It's not like I'll be drinking. Okay, okay. I had my first drink at your age, so I'm just warning you. I doubt there'll even be any alcohol. I'm sure Addie's new friends are great. They were there for her when I wasn't. So, how do you feel about seeing Ada again? Fine, I saw her the other day when she invited us to the party. Okay. So what else have you been up to? Uh, I'm writing... I'm writing college essays. Oh, cool. How's that going? I know it can be difficult to figure out what to say. Right, you had trouble figuring out what to say. Riley, your essay won a national-wide contest and you got a full ride to Columbia. Okay, well, I was writing for fun about the impact music had on public opinion, not some BS, where do I want to be in 10 years? It was a lot easier. Well, I know what I'm writing anyway. I figured it out. Okay, cool. What'd you come up with? 
Um, I'm not ready to share it. I need to edit it more first. Of course. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's more important that the message is there instead of every single word being exactly right. But mom and dad keep asking me what I want to major in and how am I supposed to decide which college is best if I don't know what I want to study? Danny, you should never do something just because somebody's pressuring you into it. I know. I'm gonna have to get ready in the car. Okay, I love you. Love you too. Bye. Have fun. Mom, Danielle's gonna be here soon. Did you get your essay done? Yeah. What did you end up writing about? How Egyptian culture is um, why cats ended up being domesticated. I thought I asked you to choose a different subject. I didn't have a lot of time and I couldn't think of anything else. Are you capable of thinking of anything other than Egyptian mythology? I don't know why I'd want to. My job as your mother and your teacher is to make sure you know all the subjects. How am I supposed to do that if you fight me every time I ask you to do anything other than mythology? I'm not fighting you. I just, I still did the assignment. I just did it about something that didn't bore me to death. You can't ignore or change things every time you don't love them. Sometimes you have to just suck it up and do it anyway, even if it's not your favorite thing. I know that I'm not stupid. I've seen nothing to show me that you do know. Just because you're not smart enough to realize what I'm doing doesn't mean you have to force me to stop learning about my passions. You know what, Liz? You're never going to be successful if you're only good at one thing. I'm going to be successful one day regardless of how much you keep holding me back. Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make Everything just fade away Cause she's the same Stress cocaine Got it so insane Jealous of the coding And she wins up on a tight frame Long game, no shame Baby, can't be a play I feel like an addict Cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine Hey, I'm glad you made it It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's nice to meet you Um... This is Danielle, Liz, and Harper, my friends from my old school. Um, guys, this is Jessica and Sarah. I love everyone's costumes. So, out there. Uh, thanks. Uh, I love your costumes too. But where's, where's Heather Chandler? Oh, one of us like the color red. <laughs> there. Oh, um, what's your guys' favorite Heather song? Heather's is a musical? Costumes. I need to put on the last of my uh, makeup. Do you mind if I um, use the bathroom? For sure, Ada. You know where it is. Okay, uh, yeah, this way. I love your costume, by the way. Really clever to use the mask for thought. I need to go refill drinks. What are we doing just standing around? Come on, let's join the party. It's nice to see you all again. It's been too long. Yeah, it's good that Danielle happened to run into you. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to happen. So, how have you been? I've been fine, but Danielle and Harper have been be beating themselves up about it. Oh no, beating themselves up about what? If this is about me not texting you guys back, I've just been really busy at my new school. Not texting us back? Ada, you disappeared off the face of the planet. We had to find out that your parents were getting divorced and that you were moving to a new school from Danielle's mom. Either way, why would they feel responsible? They didn't do anything. Harper feels that you were just waiting for an excuse to leave. What? And 
Danielle thinks that she could have been there for you if you'd let her. Look, I, I have new friends now. I have to spend time with them too. I did what I had to do to not fall apart. I'm sorry if that's not good enough. Ada, we're not upset at you for having new friends and going to public school, but we're your friends too. Or at least we used to be. We could have been there for you if you let us. Yes, finally. Thank you. I like yours too. Nice to meet you, Thank you. I love her. Really awesome. Wicked is definitely one of my favorite musicals. Oh yeah. What are some of your favorite songs? Well, I really love No Good Deed, but popular is such a classic and popular. Absolutely. Would you say it's the music of the night? Yes, it makes me feel like I'm defying gravity. <laughs> you could even be the angel of music. That song has me dancing for life. <laughs> oh my god, are we going to be doing this all night? Well, no one wants to be called. Okay, that one didn't really make sense. I'm sorry, I can't think of any other wicked song. I'm a fake. This is all a masquerade. I guess I'll have to learn to be lonely. Please think of me. Maybe you can lure me back into the dance floor with a magical lasso. I'm sorry, I should probably be No, that was it. you admit, I Whoa! This is not at all. Does it work? I can take you. So who are you? Like, I haven't seen you around. My name's Harper. Uh, I'm from school. What's your name? Nice to meet you. I love this Oh, great. We needed someone to destroy. <laughs> well, we can't let that happen. <laughs> Look who's still upset after being dumped. <laughs> Not at all. I just know you talk big but can't actually deliver. Oh, she got you, man. Ah, let's go. Who else wants to be in the losing team? <laughs> all right, we got this. <laughs> I'll let you go first. Okay. Woo! Nice one. <laughs> Drink up, sweetheart. Game's called beer pong. <laughs> what do you think? Come on, just drink it. Chug, 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 chug. Well, this was a year that I saw it. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? I'm Liz. Can't say I've ever seen anyone dressed as a sexy ostrich before, but I dig it. I'm a sexy ibis, actually. Guys, I'm looking for someone to play a trivia game with, starting in a couple minutes. Is anyone here interested? A trivia game at a party? Really? Sure, that sounds fun. Danielle? I, I'm good here. Anything is better than pretending Google doesn't exist. Come on. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and 
All the shit you don't do Well, I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know I feel this pain, you already know Gustav Eiffel is attributed with building which two monuments? Uh, Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty. Yes! Lee and I are tied for last. <laughs> Woo! Man, I should have known better than joining a trivia game Liz was part of. You know, we can do a speed round if you guys want to do a tiebreaker. Ooh. What category would you want? There's like art, politics, pop culture, ancient mythology. Mythology. Okay. What Temple of Athena still sits today atop Athens' Acropolis? The Parthenon. Bragi was the Norse god of what? Poetry. Correct. That was fast. What was the first pyramid to be built in Egypt called? Uh, Giza. No, actually it was the Pyramid of Joseph. Correct. Oh my god, you guys. According to the Chinese creation myth, the universe was said to have started inside a what? Empty void? No. Uh, egg? Correct. <laughs> what ancient civilization developed the number zero? The Mayans. No, actually it was the Indian uh, astronomer Aryabhata. No. The Mayans developed the number zero 500 years before that. I've never heard that before. The card says India. I don't know if that counts. But the Mayans devised zero out of literally nothing. They had an entirely separate system. Also, they were really great mathematicians and astronomers. That definitely counts. But if we're talking about Zero is a placeholder. It was developed around the world, not just by the Mayans. Zero was where it was turned into the concept we know today. Well, that's true. So, I guess you get the point. And it's what the card says. Well, I guess what you said was also kind of right. I guess we can tie. I've met my match. I've never met anyone else who knows quite as much mythology as me. Danielle, are you good? I kind of left you behind earlier. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Let's get started. Bryce, truth or dare? Dare, obviously. I dare you to show us the last text you sent someone. <laughs> what if it's a picture? No one wants to see that. It's a picture of my dog. What do you think it was? <laughs> Anyways, truth or dare, Liz? Dare. I dare you 
to spend seven minutes in heaven with someone. That's easy, Danielle. Come on, let's go. No. It has to be a boy. This is stupid. No, come on. It'll be fun. No, Josh. Come on, let's go. You're making a big mistake. I guess we can ask for her, Addie, truth or dare? Dare. Dang, what did truth ever do to you guys? Nothing, I, I can pick truth, that's fine. I pick truth. Addie, what was your first kiss like? Uh, it was with a friend. Who? You don't know them, and it doesn't mean anything anyway. We just were curious, and we hadn't kissed anyone before, and let's just move on. Jessica, truth or dare? Truth. What was the last lie you told? I told my parents I was having five people over. <laughs> <laughs> Harper, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to tell us how you met Adam at your old school. Uh, okay, but that's not really a dare. Come on, just tell us. Adam never tells us anything. Fine. <laughs> Uh, we met when we took a class at HTS together, and when the semester ended, we started hanging out at the park with Liz and Danielle. <laughs> Danielle, are you okay? I think I'm gonna throw up. Shit, you were drinking. It's alright, come on. What's HDS? I, Addy, I thought you said you used to go to Glendale High. Uh, HGS is an after-school program. I took swimming classes there. Wait, I thought the Harper said that it was a homeschool co-op. Why would Addie be going to a homeschool class co-op? Ugh, let's just continue. Addie, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to jump in the pool. I don't know how, um, it would ruin my makeup, so... I dared you, you have to do it. Well, are you feeling any better? A bit. So, what happened back there? Grace wanted me to play beer pong with them. I didn't realize at first with actual beer. Shit. I'm sorry. You should have been there. I shouldn't have left you. I don't need a babysitter. I can take care of myself. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it's okay. What's in your mind? <laughs> hey, don't look at me. I can't hear you. My parents are gonna be so mad at me. I got drunk. I mess up everything. <laughs> Riley never makes mistakes like this. Just because you don't see them doesn't mean Riley never makes mistakes. <laughs> but I and I'm sure there's nothing you, you could do that would make your parents disappointed in you. Everyone likes you, Daniel. That's not true. Jessica and Grace only liked me after I was drunk. Well, I like you much better sober. And there's nothing wrong with taking things seriously. I guess I feel like you stress yourself out sometimes. But you don't have to get drunk to have fun. What am I gonna do? Well, when you're ready, we can go out and get you some water. You know, we don't have to tell your parents if I guess we're real-life teenagers after all. At a party. Getting drunk. I guess Anna did change. Yeah. Maybe I should have been the one to leave. What? If I left the friend group, then Addy could have stayed. What are you talking about? I made everything weird. What did you make weird? We should go get you some water. Do I have to do this? Addy! 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 Come on, I'll give you a countdown. Three. Two. One.
so cold. Don't worry. I'll keep you warm. Ada, are you okay? Uh, she's fine. Wow, your name is Ada too? Tell them. Um, I, uh... What's your problem? We're just gonna dry her off. Ada, do you want us to help you instead? Maybe that would be better. Okay, I guarantee you'll have more fun with me. With me. What the hell? Dude, back off! What happened? <sighs> Nothing. Ada, what happened? I thought you two were hitting it off. Um, I, I don't know. It was pretty obvious to me they were not hitting it off. I, I thought you said you were into Bryce. Ada, is that what you want? Of course it is. How do you know? You aren't asking her. I just know her that well. Addie, why aren't you following me? You don't know me that well. I just said what you wanted to hear. What? I, I don't care if you want to hook up with someone or not. I, I didn't just lie about that. Addie, what are you talking about? We're homeschooled. It's just, when I started school with you, I felt like my whole world was falling apart and I really wanted to fit in, so... I started lying about everyone, about everything, and I became a whole new person. So you've been living a double life for months? It wasn't a double life. Oh, really? I completely stopped talking to them. Hmm, I wonder why I don't believe you. She's not lying about that. I think all of you should leave. Come on, let's go. Okay, just give me one second. Wait, please just listen. I know we can't be friends anymore. I lied to you and I'm sorry, but I can't change the fact that I'm homeschooled. Honestly, I wouldn't want to. It's just when you started talking to me, all the crazy, I don't know, fantasies I had about what it would take to survive in public school became a reality. I don't care that you're homeschooled. It just sucks that you lied. This isn't some teen drama, honey. Really? I mean, you're kind of the spitting image of the popular girl. And we're having a huge fight at a house party because I tried to fit in with the cool kids only to realize you were better off with your old friends. I think Heather's actually ended with everyone dying. Your friends are waiting for you. Bye, Jessica. Bye, Ada. Well, shit. That went well. Ada, are you okay? <laughs> Obviously not. Sorry, I'll be fine. Really cold. Here, take my jacket. Thanks. My phone doesn't work, so what now? I called my mom. She'll be here in a few minutes to pick us up. Is everything all right? I heard fighting. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll figure it out. I wish we could have hung out more tonight. Um, do you want my number so we could in the future? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> of course. I'm sorry I didn't stop, Bryce. I couldn't really tell if you were okay with it or not. It's fine. My other friends couldn't tell either. My dad's gonna pick me up in a while, so I'm just gonna be inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope to hear from you. You definitely will. <laughs> nice move, Papa. <laughs> Thank you.
We are homeschoolers. homeschoolers. I don't care that you're homeschooled. It just sucks that you lied. I didn't just lie about that. This is Danielle, my friend from my old school. When I was younger, um, my uncle played that game. So are there any boys you like at school? Not really, no. Come on. <laughs> I guess Joshua seems nice. <laughs> Be serious. <laughs> um, come on. And I have a crush. What are you hiding? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> is it Bryce? I knew it. <laughs> So you've been living a double life for months? And I really wanted to fit in, so... Ada, or Addy? Can I call you Addy? Yeah, sure. That's so cute. Addy. So, uh, how come you switched schools? Oh, um, my parents got divorced, so it worked better for me to go to school here. My parents are divorced, too. It, it sucked at first, but it's better now. And I'm home alone, so I pretty much get to do whatever I want. <laughs> Does that ever get a bit um, lonely though? Nah, we have each other now. <laughs> Anna, you just appeared off the face of the planet. I have new friends now. I have to spend time with them too. We could have been there for you if you let us. Do you remember that one time when we could not stop laughing about That's over. I choose what I want now. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Of course. What I want to say, I guess, is that I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I was so overwhelmed that for a while I didn't talk to anyone. And then I started public school and I just felt so alone. I had no one to talk to. And I was so caught up in my head and everything that was going on. I just wanted to make friends. I didn't care who they were. I didn't realize that the reason I felt so lonely was because I pushed away the ones I already had. And I didn't even think about how that would hurt you guys. I was only thinking about myself. So I'm sorry. I've just missed you guys so much. I miss you too, Ada. Or should we call you Addy now? Ada is good. And I'm also sorry, Ada. I should have made more of an effort to be there for you. I shouldn't have given up so easily. Oh. Danielle, you did not give up too quickly. Last night after the party, I couldn't sleep. So I finally went through all the messages you all sent me. I'm so sorry I never replied. You did everything you could have. I was a jerk. You were a jerk. But I also could have been more thoughtful about what you were going through. I just saw how it was affecting that us, and I lashed out. Maybe we could still talk? But of course, if you guys don't want to, that's fine, and we can go our separate ways. Of course we still want to talk. That's what we've wanted this whole time. I'm... I'm so glad that I ran into you and we reconnected. Yeah. I'm sorry it had to happen at that party. That was a mess. I think you may have had the worst time of it. Yeah. That Bryce guy is gross. <sighs> oh, yeah. yeah. That reminds me, Harper. How are things going with that girl? Do not say Bryce reminds you of Leah. Ooh, she has a name. <laughs> Things are going good. She texted me and we're planning to meet up. I don't want to jinx things, but I think she likes me. 
Harper, of course she likes you. You're going on a date with her. Well, I don't know if it's a date. Then ask her, silly. <laughs> okay, I will. Speaking of Harper, did you and Annie like kiss oh or something? You guys were acting strange when that question came up in Truth or Dare. Wait, what? Mm, damn. Nothing escapes you, Danielle, even when you're hammered out of your mind. I was not hammered out of my mind. Hey, stop changing the subject. Ada, uh, should you tell him or should I? Um, I guess I can. <laughs> so, Remember that sleepover we did to binge Lord of the Rings? Wait, we were there? Yeah, it, it was when you both fell asleep. Like, Ar Aragon and Arwen kissed, and it was two in the morning, and we both somehow started talking about how we hadn't kissed anyone, and then they kissed, and it was late at night, and she was just like that late night type of delirious, you know? And, and we kissed, and I realized I was asexual. One of you guys, please say something. Y yeah, thank you for telling us, Ada. I had no idea. Yeah, thank you for trusting us with that. Um, what about it made you realize? Well, I already sort of knew I wasn't attracted to other people like others were. Whenever people talked about crushes or who they thought were hot, and stuff they wanted to do. I just could never relate. I thought maybe if I did some of the stuff they were talking about, something would click, but something else clicked instead. Thank God. <laughs> I thought I was such a bad kisser that I like scared you away and ruined our entire friendship or something. Or no, I'm just ace. I was just kidding. I know, but you needed to hear it. None of you pushed him away. Hi, Dad. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Things are finally calming down again. That's good. Not to throw a wrench in things, but I have some news. Do you want to hear the good or the bad first? Uh, bad first, of course. Things changed with work, and I'll be home a week later than I said I would. I'm really sorry, kiddo. It's fine. It happens all the time, so... I've been talking to my boss about how I want to be home for your last year before college, and we worked something out that I can work from home this year. I can't promise I won't have to travel at all, but I'll see if I can take you if I do. Really? Dad, that's not good news. That's amazing news. I've just really been missing you a lot. We'll have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, we do. So, um, did any of my advice help you at all? You were right. I definitely should have stuck with my friends. What happened? <laughs> you got drunk, didn't you? How did you know? I know that guilty face. And I knew that there would be drinks at that party. Come on. It's not that big of a deal. What did you think? <laughs> That's what I thought. Alcohol was gross the first time I tried it too. In high school, I was at a friend's party and a boy I liked handed me a drink, so I drank it to impress him. Turns out acting like a drunken fool isn't very impressive. I threw up on his shoes. <laughs> it sucked. And I've been a lot more careful since then. What happened with the boy? You've met Jaden. Jaden? Like Jaden Brown? <laughs> you met him by throwing up in his shoes? You guys dated for like seven months. 
<laughs> yeah, I apologized, and he apologized for giving me alcohol since he didn't know I hadn't ever had it before. That whole relationship actually taught me a lot about how to set healthy boundaries. Danielle, I know you have a lot going on right now. Drinking is so unlike you. Peer pressure. Yeah. It feels like there's more. Talk to me. I guess... In preparing for college, everything is boiled down to stats and essays and expectations. I lost my passion. I love learning. But school stopped being about learning and more about proving that I could keep up. I got so overwhelmed. When I was drunk, that went away for a little while. Hmm. I didn't second guess my actions at all. Normally, that's all I do because I'm afraid people will think if I mess up. I, I was stressed about what others thought. I was also stressed because I really care and I don't want to stop caring. I want to find my own balance. I mean, what's the point of having my own brain if I only listen to what others think? I, I want to take a gap here. I still really, really want to go to college, but I need some time to figure out who I am and what I want. And um, no more drinking for a while. That sounds perfect, Danny. I mean, you are 17. Most people your age haven't figured out themselves either. Plus, a gap year seems like a great way to prepare yourself for college a little bit more and narrow down what you're interested in. Thanks. Anytime. Hey. How are you doing? Great, actually. I just wanted to tell you that I'm applying to the museum as a volunteer for their Egypt camp. Oh, okay. This camp is a great opportunity for me. Do you have a problem with that? Of course not. A job is a great way to learn responsibility. And a way for me to become successful. That was wrong of me to say. Liz, you're the smartest person I've ever met. You will be successful no matter what you do. I just wish I could help you get there. I can help you work through an algebra text, but you're so good at mythology, you know so much about it, that I feel like I just can't help you with that anymore. Mom, Egypt is my passion. You don't have to teach it to me, I do that on my own. I, I like doing things on my own, but I still need you, your help. Maybe for now. I'll always be there to help you with anything I can. But I also need to accept that you're almost a grown woman and you'll need my help less and less every day. And that's okay. That means you've done your job right. I'm very independent, but that's because you're an amazing mom. Thank you. I'm very lucky to have you as my daughter. Maybe you can help me with my resume? I'd love to. So, what exactly is the camp about? It teaches middle schoolers about Egypt. I'm gonna get to teach other kids how cool Egypt is and how much fun it is to learn about. That sounds perfect for you. I think it really is. It's nice to see you smiling, Ada. I haven't seen that in a while. I know. I think this is the first time in a while things are finally looking up. That's great. Yeah. I'm talking to Liz, Danielle, and Harper again. I'm glad you're more yourself around them. I'm sorry you drifted apart from them in the first place. That's not your fault. I should have noticed. I've been caught up in my own problems. And I should have noticed how things were affecting you. I know a thing or two about that. It's okay, Dad. It's not. I recently realized that just because I'm hurting doesn't mean that others aren't. I struggle with that with your mom. It's too late to fix that. But I do want to get better and be there for you. 
I want that too. I feel like I haven't been able to talk to you or anyone else in so long. It's been really hard. I don't want you to feel that way. I'm here for you, Ada. You know, if you need more support, I found talking to a therapist is very helpful myself. I know your mom suggested it to you before, though. It's okay if you're not comfortable. No. I want to start therapy. I just really don't want to lose the progress I've made. I've thought about therapy for a while, but I didn't want to bother anyone else, and I guess I felt like I could figure it all out on my own, even though I was constantly lost. I found my path now. I just really want to stay on it. And I'm ready to get help with that. Nugget isn't the only being that puts up with me. <laughs> Put up with isn't the right word. There are people who actually enjoy my antics. Hello, my name is Danielle. And although I love school, I now try to get up early and do yoga. And I always do my best to have at least a few other hobbies, even if most of them haven't stuck yet. Hi, my name is Liz. I love teaching other kids about ancient Egyptian civilizations and mythology almost as much as reading about it myself. And I'm working on getting another internship at the museum. Hi, my name is Ada. Mornings at school haven't been easy. I feel like an outsider. but. My therapist recommended joining clubs at school, and I know I have my friends and family to support me every step of the way. When it comes to what's important... My imperfect but amazing parents who always did what they thought was best. My friends and how much they care about me. And the amazing support system that has helped me navigate growing up. It may be hard to identify the ways my life has been shaped by homeschooling, but I do know it played a huge role that I'm immensely grateful for. No matter what happens, part of me will always be a homeschooler. homeschooler.